Hey, what's up users? This is John at muse for you here to help you build awesome websites without code. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the big menu widget for your mobile website. So I have an example site here on my mobile device. I'm using an iPhone 5s. And here, if I click on menu, we can see we have the door opening uh, big menu effect. And then if I click on little boxes, and I click on menu, we have the little boxes effect. And if I click on genie, and then menu, we have the genie effect. And then if I click on slide up, and then I click on menu, we have the slide up effect. And then yep, yeah, then I click on scale, the last one here. And then I click on menu, and we have the scale effect. Okay, so there's 11 different effects that you can use in the big menu widget, and it is found at museforyoushop.com. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add the big menu widget to your mobile website in Adobe Muse and how to access the widget. So let's begin. So to access this widget, you simply go to museforyoushop.com and then you can click on the pop up here. And then here you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. You can click here to subscribe or you can subscribe with PayPal by clicking here. Very good. Or you can scroll down and purchase the widget individually. And the widget is right here, the big menu widget. So if I click on it, and here I can click add to cart to purchase individually. Or again, you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. And once you get access to the widget, it comes in a zip file. So you simply extract the zip file and then double click on the .mulip file that, that comes inside that zip file. Very good. And then it will install directly into your Adobe Muse website. So I have my Adobe Muse website here and I'm going to go directly to the phone version by clicking the phone option right up here. And then here where it says add phone layout, I don't really have a layout. So I'll just click OK. And then here I have my home page for my mobile website, my phone version of the website. Very good. So now I'll go here to my library panel. And this is where the uh, the big menu widget gets installed. It gets installed in the library panel. If you don't see the library panel, you can go to window and then click on library to bring the library panel uh, up and, and make it visible here. So I'll scroll down to the big menu widget. So I have it here and it's big menu widget 1.1. There was a few updates recently to the big menu widget or maybe a few weeks ago where you can now select how many menu items you want in your menu and you can choose up to eight menu items and you can also change the spacing between the menu items in the menu. So I have the big menu widget 1.1 here. The first version was 1.0 and, and the update is 1.1. So I'll click on the drop down here and then I have access to 11 different uh, big menu menus, if I can say that way. Big, did I say that right? 11 big menu menu. Yeah, I think that's right. So <laughs> I'll just leave it like that. And uh, so I'm going to just show one example in the demonstration at the beginning. I had five different examples, uh, but just to keep this video uh, short, I'm just going to do one example. Um, so I'm going to select the door effect. So I'm going to click, hold and drag the the, the uh, big menu door widget or door effect and I'll click allow. And here you can see we have door and we have door full. Door full is if you have a higher resolution screen and you can see all the widget options in one widget. Um, if you just select door, you'll have two different widgets uh, that allow you to change all the options. So one has all the links in the, in the menu button and the second one has kind of the styling or this is the first one and this is the second one with the links. Okay, so now I'll just position this uh, kind of where I'd like it. And I can put this anywhere, the, the little icon here, or um, this this widget, I can put anywhere on the uh, page. But this one is the button, so I want to make sure that it's positioned correctly. And so we'll just do something like that. And I also want to add a background image to my mobile site. So I'll go to, I'll click in this white area, and then I'll go to browser fill, and I'll go to add image. And then I'll scroll down and I'll select this image here. And for fitting, I'll say scale to fill. For position, I'll position it in the center. And I don't want any scrolling, so I'll, I'll uncheck scrolling. Very good, so we have that image there. And now we want to style the, uh, the big menu widget here. So let's style the links first. So I'll open the widget options. And for the open button text, I'm just gonna say menu. 
Okay, the open button font size, I'll make it a little bit smaller because it's going on a mobile device. Uh, the open button font color, I'll leave it at white. Uh, the open button background color, I'm actually going to sample um, this gray area from Adobe, the Adobe Muse interface because I think it, it's a good color to kind of show uh, this menu button. So I'll just, well actually first I'll go to my browser fill, I'll click the drop down, I'll select the sample color tool, and then I'll sample that gray color here, or this kind of darker color from the Adobe Muse interface. And then to save this to my swatches panel, I simply click on this icon that looks like a piece of paper. So I'll click on it and then I'll click OK. So we have this swatch saved here and I can select this color uh, anytime I want to select the color for any item. So I'll go back to the menu uh, widget options here. And then for the open button background color, I'll click on the drop down and I'll select this darker uh, color here, darker gray color. Then for the open button radius, I want it to be a perfect uh, square, so I'll just say zero for this. Or I can just enter in zero and hit enter. And then for the font family, I'm gonna type in inherit, and then I'm gonna change the font with Adobe Muse, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. I don't wanna use a Google font. If you did, you can select from over 700 Google fonts. Uh, you can set the font weight from 100, from none to 900. Uh, 400 is normal, so if you go to 100, it becomes thinner. And if you go to 900, uh, it becomes thicker. Uh, you can also make the button transparent. I don't want it to be transparent. The open button cursor type, uh, I just want to set it to pointer. You can choose from over 20 different cursor types here when you hover over the open button. Or you can select an image for the cursor. Uh, just make sure that the image is 128 pixels by 128 pixels or less. Okay, very good. And then you just click add file and select the image there. And then here you can select the number of links for the menu. So you can select one through eight. So I'll leave it at five for the moment. And then here's where you set the menu link text. And down here is where you set the menu link URL. So for the menu link text, I'm gonna change all of these. I'm gonna say home about uh, services, uh, subscribe and contact. And we don't need to worry about menu link six, seven, or eight, the text for these, uh, because we only have five menu links, so we can actually just leave that like it is. And then here's where you enter in the URL. You can link it to an external URL, or you can link it internally. So let's say you wanted to link all the links internally, like I did in the example in the beginning. Uh, what you do is you type in, for the first one, it's uh, usually dot backslash index.html. Then for the second one, because it, the page is called about, it's dot backslash about dot HTML. The third one is dot backslash services dot HTML. And the fourth one is dot backslash subscribe dot HTML. And the last one would be dot backslash contact dot HTML. And I spelled HTML wrong there. HTML, okay. So I'm gonna show you in this video tutorial uh, how to create the pages so that they match these names. Uh, it's fairly simple, just when you create a new page in Adobe Muse, uh, just name that page uh, the, the name that you selected for these. So my about page would be called about, my services page would be called services, subscribe, subscribe, and contact, contact. Uh, it really doesn't matter what you name the first link here because the first, the home page is usually dot backslash index.html. And we can choose an icon for the close button. We can choose from over 400 font awesome icons for the close button. Uh, by default, I just have kind of that X to let users know that that's the close button in the menu. Okay, so we've styled this widget here. So now let's go to the other styling options. And here we can style what the menu looks like when it's open, and we can style the close button here. So for the overlay color, I'm gonna change it to that darker gray as well. The overlay op opacity, I don't want any opacity to the menu. If I did, I could set it to less or more, and you can choose between 0.1 and 1. And 1 is full opacity, so we don't see anything behind the menu. So I'll set it to 1, and then for the font size, I'll say 32. The font color, we'll leave it at white. The font hover color, I'm going to say white as well. You can change the color for the font hover, so when the user hovers over the links, it changes color. And here you can change the menu item spacing. So you can add more spacing or less spacing between the menu items in the menu. And here we can choose a font family. So I'm gonna type inherit again. 
and then we can change the font with Adobe Muse and I'll show you how to do that in a second and then here for select a Google font if we erase this in the font family we could choose from over 700 Google fonts and again here we can select the font weight we can choose between none and 900 the lower you go the thinner the font will be and the higher you go the the bolder or thicker the font will be and then here we can select the link cursor type again we can choose from over uh, 20 different cursors or we can add an image for the cursor we just have to make sure that the image is 128 pixels by 128 pixels or less and then for the close button styling we can select an image for the close button uh, we can change the icon close color the icon close hover color i'm going to change this to white and then we can change the icon close size we'll leave it at 32 and again we can select uh, from over 20 different cursors here for the close button cursor or we can choose an image for the close button cursor okay so that's all the styling and now if you noticed i added inherit for both these widget options here and by typing in inherit what it allows us to do is that if i click on the widget option i can actually go to the text option in adobe muse so right over here to the upper right is the text option or you can have it in your panels if you go to window and then click on text the panel will come up with uh, the text options so i'm in my text option so i can simply select the text so i'll select lotto and because we've set it to inherit it's going to inherit this lotto font and change the font for the menu uh, the menu button here and i'll do the same for the second widget option i'll click on the widget and then for the text i'll say lotto okay so now both uh, the menu links will have the lotto font and the menu button has the lotto font so let's see how this looks like in our adobe muse website so i'll click on preview and there's the menu if i click on it we have that effect we have home about services subscribe and contact so i'll just close that there looks really good and we can position actually let me close this i made a new page uh, we can position this anywhere we'd like and i can make this a little bit thinner and i can position this anywhere i'd like on my mobile website all right very good and the last thing i'll show is creating the other pages so i'll just add four pages and if we wanted to make sure that this menu links with these pages we just want to name those pages the same name that we added for uh, the page links so for the second page it was about the and I can make it capital it's not case sensitive uh, this third page was services the fourth page was subscribe and the fifth page was contact all right very good and I'll just go into each page and change the color so I'll just do that so we can see that the menu is working correctly all right I uh, changed it to the same color and I'll click on contact and I'll change this to yellow or let's pick kind of the screen here all right so we have different colors I'll go to the home page I'll go to preview I'll click on menu about we see it goes there so what I'm gonna do now is add the menu to the master page so we can see the menu on every page and we have access to the, to the menu on every page so I'm gonna go to the home page and I'm gonna select both of these widgets and I'm gonna hit command X to cut the the uh, the menu here from this page uh, and it would be control X on Windows so I'll go to my plan view and I'll go to the master page right down here I'll double click and then I'll hit command V to paste or control V if you're on Windows and actually I'm gonna undo that uh, you can actually right click and click paste in place so what paste in place does is that it puts it in the same location that you cut or copied uh, your website element so it puts it in the same place all right so I have my menu there and now if I go back to my plan view we can see that the menu is on every page so I'll go to preview in my Adobe Muse website I'll go to menu or actually let me go to the home page I'll go to preview and there is our menu with the image I'll click menu I'll go to about there's that color I'll go to services very good subscribe and contact so that's it that's how you add the big menu widget to your mobile website in Adobe Muse so now I'm gonna upload this website to a live server so we can preview it on my mobile device okay so here I have the website on my mobile device if I click on menu we have home about services subscribe and if I go to each of the pages it takes me to those different pages okay perfect 
So that's how you add the big menu widget to your mobile website in Adobe Muse. This was done using adaptive design in Adobe Muse. Uh, responsive design will be out early 2016. Uh, but both work. You can use either adaptive or responsive. And when the responsive version does come out, you'll still be able uh, to use adaptive design as well. Very good. So that's it for this video tutorial. Again, to access this widget, you simply go to museforyoushop.com. You can click the pop up here and you can click here to subscribe and get access to all widgets or any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. Or you can click here to subscribe with PayPal. Or again, you can purchase the widget individually by scrolling down to the widget and it's right here, the big menu widget. And you can click on add to cart to purchase individually. Or again, you can get access to all widgets or any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year by clicking here. Very good, so that's it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome, awesome websites without code. If you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial.